Hello makers and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here and you're into photography, video making, tech gear, reviews, drones and 3D printing, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you won't miss anything. We're talking about filament today, another review from Sinton Zillion. We're talking about the multicolor spool. I was actually waiting for something different. I was expecting something different, but in any case, it's very cool. Of course, before getting into the review, I would like to thank Giuseppe, a friend of mine. He has an Instagram page. Uh, it's called 3D Print All. He talks about uh, 3D printing uh, uh, application to electronics. He talks about printers. He reviews filaments and show us what you can actually do with, the, with that filament. And you can find coupons and discounts to buy a printer or filament. So check his page, 3D Print All. You will find all the links in the description. Without further ado, let's jump into the review. As usual, Sinton Zillion package is really, really well done. It's vacuumed and uh, this pool is a multicolor. I was expecting something different. Usually when you buy a multicolor every 15 or 20 meters, there's the entire range of colors, but not this one. This one starts from a color and then gets to another one. This is the beginning of the spool and this is right at the end. I had to use it all because I wanted to see all the variants of colors. So I started, one of the first prints was, actually this was not the first color. First color was this. I printed out this Benchy. Of course, PLA is a great PLA. I mean, uh, I already know Sinton Zillion Filament and they're, I mean, they're top of their line. And they react beautiful, especially if you get the right uh, right temperature and uh, they won't miss one shot. Of course Caliket, never missing, that's perfect. We're still on the orange side, this is the beginning of this pool. I also did my usual piranha and that printed out perfectly. I actually did two of these on, the, on this pool. Then it started to shift from dark orange I also printed this to see how it handled it and it went really really good you can see I mean this was just a sample I had in mind to print a larger one they tell you to print this before to calibrate it but then I didn't do it because I was too excited to see how color was shifting then color went from brown to I don't know gold this gold and I decided to print this vase which turned out probably one of the best vases I've ever printed. It looks and feels amazing. Base mode, 0 0.8 extrusion, a bit slower than usual, but you know, this is a great result and I'm loving it. Then color started to shift and it started to become bronze and I printed a small Darth Vader my kid asked me can you do something from Star Trek and here's a small Darth Vader I mean resolution is uh, stick to two but it's still very high detailed then I wanted to print something I didn't manage to print on the last review of the Sinton Zillion which was Julius Caesar. He was continuously detaching from the bed, so I gave up. But this time it came out good. I had some problem removing raft, but that's my mistake. Plate was not leveled correctly. Then from this bronze, we started shifting again to this kind of purple. You can see it's like kind of bronze at the, at the base of the vase. This was a 16 hour print it's called, uh, what's it called? I don't know, Klimt Vase or something like that. You'll find the links in the description anyway. This is a great vase. I was worried about this print. I slowed down temperature. Uh, I played around a little bit around with the retraction and you can see it guys, it really looks good. So you can see some shifting here. Not exactly the result I was expecting from a multicolor spool, but still, I mean, in one spool you have like seven or eight different colors, which is, is good. I mean, 
then it went to total, uh, you know, dark purple, shiny, bronzy. Then I printed out a fox for my sister. She asked for a fox, and I printed out. That's a low poly print, and it looks nice. What else I print? Here you can see the different le like levels of of colors. This was one of the first one I printed. Then it shifted on this gray, which was, I think, kind of the fox color in between the fox and the um, body of the woman. And then it shifted totally to this like beautiful, beautiful blue. As you can see, there was a a very fast shift. The other colors shifted gradually. This one shifted from that dark purple to this blue, beautiful electric blue, which I love. That's why I printed the skull and I printed this bowl to put some lollies in, which was great. Same thing, base mode, 0.8 extrusion, slower than usual. Then I printed another one because I wanted to have one in this color. And then I printed this. I don't know what's this, what this is called, but I liked it. It looks like a horrible fish you would be afraid of. And I was playing around. I wanted to finish this pool. That's what I did. And I actually liked it. I liked it a lot because all these colors come from the same spool. And I suggest this if you want to buy a spool and try different colors, spending the money just for one spool but not for a multi-color multi purpose. I mean, if you want to print a dragon that would shift colors, you will need to print a huge one and probably you will see only one or two colors. In conclusion, you will buy this pool if you want to spend just the money for one single spool and have all these different colors. It's a good filament, as I said, Sinton Zillion is a warranty. I usually use Sinton Zillion filament, all my blacks and whites, and also the special ones are Sinton Zillion. I'm waiting to test some other brands. Some packages are on the way, so probably you will see reviews of other kind of filaments, other brand of filaments. But again, it's a great filament to play with. It's a great filament to start. This is what I would suggest to somebody who's just starting uh, to print. Maybe you, when I, when I bought a printer, I didn't want to spend so much money on different colors. So this multi-color multi one can be an option. You spend the money for one spool and you have seven or eight different colors. That was all for today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Smash the like button as usual. Subscribe if you're not yet subscribed and I'll see you guys on the next video.